Hello guys, I'm Nightbuzzer and welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't posted in like almost two years and uh, it feels good to be back on this channel but today we're doing something different. Uh, here we have Unreal Engine 5.1 uh, which just released and I'm so excited for it as you guys probably know I'm an architecture student and I have a lot of art viz to do for my projects so and um, one thing that I find very difficult to render or to even populate a scene with is foliage like trees or shrubs or anything like that but I'm talking about Unreal Engine here just so we're clear um, but in this version Nanite has come to foliage assets so now we can enable them and I want to show you how you can um, install high, really high quality assets and make them nanite so you can use them for your projects. Now me personally I every time I mean I use the path chaser because it's uh, very high quality and in lit mode you're gonna see the nanite meshes don't look so good now but I'm sure they will fix that in the future so my plans are from uh, Max Tree. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box to, if you want to check them out. And just drag the FBX file into a folder in your content, and uh, import the meshes. And then we're gonna import all the the maps for the mesh. Uh, so this is a free free sample from Maxtree. I don't know if they give any free samples now. I'm not really sure. And I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to show you this. <laughs> but whatever. I I know that uh, they have a free a free pack number 60, I believe. And uh, it has it has quite some good stuff, a lot of plants and some trees as well, so you should definitely check that out and yeah, but a quick warning, this might crash, <laughs> and if you have a very high quality mesh, it's gonna crash for sure. That's why I'm importing like. Um, a low quality tree just just so I can show you how it's done okay so they're imported and we're gonna wait for the meshes to to build and then we'll move on to the next step okay so now all the maps and uh, the meshes have been imported and now you can see they have um, written like VT, that means virtual texture, and we're just gonna select all of them and not all of them with uh, the VT icons, and we're gonna convert them to regular texture because that's those work better. Okay, then we have here this is a mesh and these are the materials so we're gonna open double click that one and you're gonna see that it r it says here leaf then we're gonna go here to content drawer and leaf you see this is the map for leaves so we're gonna select all of them this is the albedo, glossiness, normal, opacity and translucency And we're gonna drag them here. Let's just make some space, okay. You're gonna plug the RGB channel into the base color. Then, this is the glossiness texture. Uh, if you have a roughness texture, just plug it in here. But if not, if you have a glossiness texture and you want to and glossiness is the opposite of roughness so you need a node to be able to revert to invert it and just drag this and let it here and then type 
1 minus and hit enter and this is the node and we're gonna plug it into the roughness then we have the opacity mask this one we're gonna drag it to the opacity mask then the normal into the normal slot and the translucency in the subsurface color now you're gonna see it looks pretty weird right now <laughs> I mean I don't know why does it show like this in the viewport but I'm telling you in the I mean in the preview but in the viewport it's gonna look just fine you're gonna select deselect I mean everything so you get the main um, main settings for the material and blend mode you're gonna set to masked and shading mode to two-sided foliage this only if it's a leaf or a petal or something like that and you wanna hit this two-sided button so it shows from both the upper side and the downside if you know what I mean and then just click save it crashed <laughs> that's lovely okay so hopefully this time it doesn't crash well I opened up the second uh, material and we're gonna drag the the maps in here and just um, this one we're gonna leave as it is in here we're just gonna plug this in you into roughness and you into normal and we're gonna save now um, we can move this in so we can see it looks pretty nice oh not that one <laughs> they fixed the translucency it was looking weird before but now it's fine okay so let me just save it for now and just get here and enable nanite for the mesh that you've placed and, uh, again I wanna point out that uh, this method I'm I recommend using it for path chasing because it gives way more great results than lumen you know but I'm sure you can use this for games or whatever you're doing real-time uh, real-time archvis or something but for me personally I only use it for renders and let me know guys if you like this type of videos and what would you like to see next maybe an Unreal Engine or I don't know I'm gonna post a few more tutorials in Unreal Engine maybe about stuff regarding Archviz but let me know let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions okay so the nanite mesh is done I'm gonna go into the nanite visualization and triangles you can see that it works but if we go to pa let me just see something yeah see I just needed to get closer to show you the what I wanted before <laughs> uh, now you can see these branches they look pretty nice but when I turn on the path tracer they're really chunky <laughs> uh, it has parts missing now there's a workaround we in which we can fix that you need to double click this this is the nanite mesh you can see it's enabled and you have to go here to fallback relative error this is set to 1 and you must set it to 0 and apply changes and after this it should be perfect and it should look exactly the same as path tracing I mean exactly the same as nanite you know what I mean <laughs> see now it's all fixed and what else I wanted to say is that I'm using path tracing in Unreal Engine because one it's free <laughs> I mean Unreal Engine is free you guys 
and two uh, it's a very fast frustrating uh, part other programs such as V-Ray or Corona you know it's it's just amazing <laughs> yeah uh, another tip that I wanted to show you it's instead of enabling Nanite from here like I just showed you you should just double click this and uh, do it uh, do it in the same time like the fall fallback relative error and uh, enabling Nanite and apply changes as is gonna build the Nanite mesh and it's it's faster if you do it when it's not loaded in the scene. Another tip I wanted to, to show you is when you import FBX files with trees they I mean when they're in the same file they might be like this one has a pivot point uh, right in the center where it should be but the other ones are just far and <laughs> far away and you might wonder how do I get this to go there where it should be well let me just you just select the tree and then you hold alt and with the middle mouse button you just drag it with the to its position and after that you have to right click this pivot and set as pivot offset and when you select it it's right where it should be and then I'm gonna go into foliage find my assets, select them and just drag and drop them there. Then I'm gonna select them and I'm just gonna paint a whole lot of them <laughs> just so I can show you guys the possibilities that Nanite gives us. You can see those far away look horrible, <laughs> to be honest. But these ones here look amazing. And just let me show you my FPS, like 30, 40 FPS with these insane amount of geometry around me. It's just insane. It's pretty reasonable. Let me just come here. I'm gonna turn on the path, the path tracer so you can see the difference. I mean, in that part, maybe it would be. I mean, you can see all the detail is just built up until the right at the end. Thank you very much for staying so long. I hope this uh, helped you, and if it did, please subscribe, like, and share if you want. I'd really appreciate that. You'd help me as well. But. Anyways, thank you for all and I'll see you next time with uh, the next tutorial or, or drawing. I'm not sure <laughs> what it's going to be next. Are you for real?